everybody, welcome to and welcome back to another retouching tutorial. I am celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Cavanaugh, and in today's video, we're going to do a post processing Photoshop PPE, a post processing explain video showing you how I get these results that I will be getting here in Photoshop as we go. You will see the process and then the outcome of this result. I photographed this photo today using a snoot and a gridded 30 degree reflector shot onto a back a black backdrop and I wanted to go for a very creative feel. I'll be introducing different colors within this as well bringing more vibrancy into this look and then also just cleaning up the skin for a better overall result. So right now let's get right into it. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm getting into the editing process is going in and actually fill, uh, zooming into the skin and seeing what needs to be done in the first place. So I start from the top and work my way down to the bottom. So the first thing that I see that I would like to approve on is going in and working on the blemishes of the skin. So I'm going to take this spot heel tool and start just moving it around the skin and getting those items that I see that are kind of, you know, uh, sticking out that I would like to correct. So we're just going to keep continuing that process and just removing those things that are very noticeable, diminishing. It was my first time ever shooting with the snoot, so it was something new, but I just wanted to introduce a different look and feel to my photography. I had a friend from Florida come in and he wanted to, you know, learn some new lighting techniques. So why not, you know, just introduce him to a new lighting technique using snoots and different grids and so on and so forth. So what I like to push a lot of photographers to do is, you know, go out and try something new, even if it's out of your comfort zone, if it's never been done or you never tried it before and just see the, the results you get. That way, you know, it helps you along in the process to, you know, improve in your photography. And this photo also was shot with my Sony a7R 4 60 megapixels. So we're getting a lot of detail, really good sharp results on the eyes. So I'm going to just keep going around and retouching the skin. And if I go quiet a little bit, that's just because, you know, I am just into the groove of everything. All right, there we go. All right, so now that I got that out the way, I'll show you guys a little bit of a before and a after so far. And then I'm gonna zoom right back out and show you guys what I have so far with that. So my next thing I wanna do is go down to the chin and correct these results. Little tiny blemishes down here. The more you get and you get it in a clean base, the better the outcome results are going to be once you take it into a software like Retouching Academy or the Retouching Essentials package. So we can do that down here as well, but I think what I'm going to do for an even better result is go in with that patch tool and just start maneuvering these uh, little details around. Let's see what that would look like. Eh. I probably just diminish that in the other software. All right, so then I'm going to go around to the shirt and I'm just going to start brushing these little imperfections off. All righty, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my clone stamp tool and I am going to increase the size of that go up here and decrease the opacity because I want to diminish not remove the texture and I'm just going to start lightly brushing around those areas where we have darker skin tones and you can also do this into retouching uh, sorry in the dodge and burn panel as well to go over some of these dark, darker spots and kind of burn those and not lose the texture of the skin so here I'll show you a quick little portion of what we've done so far. All right, so I'm just gonna go over to this eye and do the same exact thing. I'm gonna take care of these little uh, face 
features right here. I'm going to go around the mouth and just lightly brush around. Get those skin tones a little bit more cohesive and flatter. All right. But like I said, a lot of this will be taken care of in the essentials pack. All right. And one thing I definitely want to stress as well is when you're editing, be sure to zoom in and out of your photos to just see how the result is coming along overall of the image. But what we're doing here is just lightly brushing in these textured areas. All right, I'm gonna zoom out. And I'm gonna show you guys a quick before and the after. And I see some other places I would like to take care of before we get into the essentials kit. We'll see how we're just diminishing that on the face. All right, I want to diminish this little area right here. The knuckles, fingers, just getting it a lot more smoother. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go into the Retouching Essentials package over here and I am going to go to the Advanced Frequency Separation. I'm going to click Play. As Soon as I get click Play, the action will run and then it will appear right over here. It's a pretty big uh, file, so if it takes a little second, that's totally fine. After I do that, I'm going to go into the advanced frequency separation, deselect the high frequency layer, and then go and click the low frequency layer, and then come over here to my mix brush. Make sure this little panel is um, set at clear. You can change all of your different factors and forms of uh, your flow, your mix, your load, and your wet right here. Have it on sample all layers. And what I want you to do is then go in and just start lightly brushing across the skin. And this will start forming the textures of the skin together to be more cohesive and just flatten things out a little bit more. All right. A quick little before and after so far. And I think even after this, I probably will go in and do a little dodge and burning as well, just to get a better result. Let's see. Go in on this pinky, some on the hands. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave, leave them in the comments. Either if you're watching this on my Patreon or YouTube, I definitely say if you want more videos like this, more in depth, definitely uh, be sure to head over to my bio on YouTube in this video and be able to, you know, check out more videos like this, showing you how I get these results. Okay, so I'm going to deselect and I'm going to show you right quick a quick before and a quick after of where we are so far, just cleaning it up a little bit. So I'm going to uh, flatten this layer right here and then I'm going to also go over here and remove this tiny little uh, imperfection of the night, like this coloration. All right, and then what I'm going to do as well is go into black and white. This will make, make a really good black and white as well. And I'm going to go and get my light dodge and burn. Make sure my opacity is small. And just uh, clean that up a little bit. Let's see, I kind of overdid it with that. Let me go down a little bit more. There we go. All right. 
making sure we're bringing out those details. Details, details. details in the photo. All right, so now what I want to do is go right back in to the Retouching Essentials pack and I'm going to go into the Even Skin. I'm going to click play to render that. I'm going to go back down to the uh, background into the mix brush and start lightly brushing across to get a very natural and clean base to this. So it's going to start just bringing those tones together a little bit more to be more cohesive and even. And just lightly brushing. you guys a little bit all right so here's a quick before and where we are so far all right so now that I've brushed with the even skin I'm going to flatten go right back in to that and go to the skin smoothening Go da 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 ba 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 ba. Skin smoothening. Click that and render that action. And if you're interested in purchasing this, this is a Photoshop insert that I use called the Retouching Essentials uh, Pack. And I'm just going to start lightly brushing around the skin, smoothing it out a little bit. Start brushing, brushing. And you can always change the intensity of this in the uh, different settings right here. All right, so now that we're at this stage, I am going to go right back in to that skin, even skin tool. And I just want to play with that a little bit more on the cheeks. So I'm going to click OK, go back into the background, back into the mix brush, and start lightly brushing along the cheek, along the mouth, getting it to be a little bit more cohesive. So now what I want to do is go into the color grading and I'm going to go right into the color balance. I'm going to pull my blues over being that I want to bring the blues out a little bit. Look at a huge difference that made. I can go very intense, I can pull more blue in, or I can add a little bit of reds to it to intensify that. I can go this round or I can decrease it a little bit even the blues. I can play around with the sliders to either decrease and go back to normal 
or increase and make it a little bit more vibrant. I can take it away and make it red and orange. I can keep increasing it and see the results that I'm getting by just doing simple things. All right. And here I'll show you guys on the more slider, other sliders. You can intensify, go back. But what I want to do is have more of a re uh, dramatic result. So I could go all blue or I could go more in the reds, but I don't want it to have it have it too intense that you start to lose, you know, gradients within the skin. Okay, so there we go. All right, I'm liking the way this looks. I'll zoom back in for you guys. Okay, so then what I feel that I want to do is just brighten it a little bit with the curves tool, bring it over a little bit with contrast, go in with the dodge and burn, just brighten some of these areas out, bring some light back into the eyes. Bring some visual, uh, like you can see, be more visual within the lips and see more details. And the brows. Start hitting these highlights a little more. All right. And that's where we are so far. So what I'm going to do as well to just finish it off is just go into these tools over here. Uh, the clone stamp, I mean, sorry, this selective coloring and just start playing around with these colors, intensifying, maneuvering. I'm going to go in the blues, cyans, see how I can intensify that or Alrighty. And this honestly comes down to a whole thing of personal preference now of what you want it to be. So it's to the point I like the result. It's very clean. And I'm going to go back into it just a tad. And go to the skin smoothing okay we're going to run that one more time I'm going to boost up the intensity a little bit more Slightly start brushing. See, do I want to add a little bit of sharpness? 
I'm doing the retouching the Academy package and then I will go in and go to my opacity and now that you can really boost it up there or you can just add a little bit so I'm at a point where I really like these results that I have it's a very good color tone it's not overdone but it still has its details so I feel that I am going to now leave this alone let me see get the fingernails right quick there's those tiny little details And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this Retouching Academy. Uh, sorry, this Photoshop retouching tutorial. I might add a little bit of noise as well. Feel free to find other content like this by heading over in my bio to my Patreon where I do even more in-depth uh, tutorials that I don't put on Patreon. I mean on YouTube. And then also be able to get these videos firsthand when you are a member of my Patreon. It's $6 a month. But it comes with so many different advantages, like free Photoshop actions, free software that I do monthly. I give a whole bunch of behind-the-scenes tips and tricks and so many more exclusive things. So if you're interested in checking that out, feel free to head over to my Patreon in the bio. Or you can go to www.chrisphotostudios.com, uh, chrisphotostudios slash Patreon slash chrisphotostudios and check out more tutorials like this and go ahead and join the family. So I greatly appreciate you guys and I'll see you back in the next video.